Howdy, Jacob here. Today we're looking at my medics group, secret symbol MDXG. Probably mispronounced that, but biotech industry, 960 million market cap, 926 million enterprise value. It looks like sub billion dollar company. I do like to look at what their insider ownership is 3.8%, not substantial, but still a little bit of ownership in the business, which is good to see. And it looks like they distribute and develop placental tissue allografts for various sectors of healthcare. Processes the human placental tissues utilizing its patented. Okay. Looks like it's okay. Okay. All right. Headquartered founded in 2011. So pretty new company. Growth is quite a bit up from in revenue from 10 years ago, but if you do look at 2018 to now, it's actually down. Margins on the growth side are amazing, the 80%, that's fantastic. Looks like there is quite a bit of sales general and R&D expense, though. Return on invested capital, recently very high. Historically, they haven't really earned operating profit, it looks like. Their income statement shows a little bit increase in shares to fund the business. Otherwise, you know, just what we were saying, quite a bit of sales in general, admin, R&D is going up, which is good, but it's really their sales general admin going up so much in relation to their gross profit being so high. Balance sheet shows 82 million cash on hand with 48 million long-term debt. So you could just write a check, pay that off. 96 million total debt. So very, very safe balance sheet from a balance sheet perspective uh, in looking at safety of the business. The use of cash flow is, they haven't really produced a whole lot of cash flow. So recently, probably just increasing their cash position. But yeah, historically, they bought back a bit of shares, but not enough to really offset their stock-based compensation. And I mean, this, yeah, it doesn't look like a business that like immediately attracts me to even put this on like a list of companies that I really want to own. But let's, let's come up with an evaluation here. So I do think they'll probably have some growth ahead of them, but how much, I don't know, is where I just do my 313. I don't, I don't know if it pops up as being obvious, then great. I'll do more research. If not, won't waste my time. Margins, they really haven't made any. Let's do four and three. I think from the gross margin perspective, they can make a lot more. But, I mean, there's just so much sales general and admin costs. There are so many sales general and admin costs that uh, I don't know if I feel comfortable going much higher. And then share change due to stock-based compensation, probably 3%. Because we're seeing about 10 mil increase. And then, well, let's do 1%. That's about what their stock based compensation is. And then, yeah, I mean, someone is going to know this business better than me. I mean, someone can easily think they're going to grow 10, 20, 30% a year for the next seven years. I just don't have that belief looking at these numbers. And again, I don't necessarily know exactly what the business does. But to me, I want it to be a screaming deal, and it's not that. So it's a fairly quick turnaround to say I'm good. I don't have to waste my time doing too much research when it's not going, holy crap, this is a deal of deals. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoy the video a little bit and have a great rest of your day. Thank you.